Good morning everyone! Welcome back to my channel! Welcome back to another video! I slept in a little bit today, longer than usual. Told my nanny to wake up Allegra, eat her breakfast. I had like really bad stomach cramps last night, so I took a pill, like a painkiller pill, and then I realized that it contained coffee. <laughs> I could not fall asleep for basically half of the night but it's time to wake up let's go okay so Valerio is already in the office he had an early start of the day we don't have such a sunny weather today so it was perfect for sleeping an extra hour so guys today we will be doing together a lot of cooking and eating because I'm doing what I eat in a day another video that you're already familiar with within your recipes that are very regularly in my diet so you can find all the recipes that I will be talking about today down below in the description of this video I'm going to shower very quickly and we're gonna go and eat some breakfast oh by the way yes the breakfast I actually cooked last night I prepared last night so it's kind of a recipe that you have to do the night before but it's kind of perfect because if you're in a rush and you don't have time to cook in the morning you can just grab and go so let's go guys let's do this I'm gonna be honest, breakfast is not my favorite meal. I usually skip breakfast most of the times, but when I do, I just try to make something easy and quick. So we're gonna make today an overnight um, oats. We're gonna start by mashing the banana and mixing all the ingredients, dry ingredients in the jar. Adding some uh, milk of your choice. I'm using almond milk. Make sure to mix it well. Then we're gonna take mashed banana, add it to the mix, mix it again very well. I like to add half a spoon of a vanilla extract, it just adds really nice smell to the mix and also I like to add one teaspoon of honey to make it a little bit more sweeter. Mix it well and voila, it's ready. Okay, now that we did the mix, we will have to go into decoration and you can get creative here. I have blueberries today and some cacao nibs and maybe I'll throw some nuts in there. So whatever your taste is like, let's do it. So I have washed blueberries that I'll put on top. Keep in mind that it looks like it's not enough oats in there, but they will get bigger overnight and there will be more to eat in the morning. So I'll put some cacao nibs. Some nuts. I have walnuts, so I'll put some walnuts. Okay, that's it. So we've got two portions of overnight oats, or you can make a one big portion. I prefer two smaller ones. We're gonna put them in the fridge for the night, and tomorrow morning we can eat them with a the coffee. lunch. I preparing today butternut squash soup. I really love this vegetable. I cut butternut squash on half, remove all the seeds. Sorry guys, in this video sometimes I call butternut squash <laughs> pumpkin. Uh, drizzle it with oil. I use grapeseed oil, salt and pepper to your taste. Make sure to preheat your oven to 425 Fahrenheit and we're gonna send our pumpkin, sorry, butternut squash <laughs> for 30 minutes to oven. Uh, meanwhile, we're gonna cut our onions on half, drizzle it with oil your choice. After 30 minutes, we're gonna add onions to the butternut squash in the oven and let it cook for another 30 minutes. After it's all done, we're gonna cool it down, put all the vegetables in the mix, add the rest of the ingredients in the blender, mix it well, and voila, the soup is ready. 
I love this simple lunch because it's really easy to cook and also I love to prepare it and store it in a container so it can last me for up to three days. I eat it today with a bread with some vegan cream cheese. I really love pumpkin soup, it's one of my favorite soups uh, since I was a kid and I feel like pumpkin is such an easy vegetable to find. Also pumpkin lasts forever so you can buy pumpkin and just store it in a room temperature for months. So I love this delicious lunch and also my daughter loves it too, so it's really great for kids as well. Okay guys, so I'm on to cooking a dinner. We're staying in tonight, so I will be cooking soy honey glazed salmon that I cook all the time for my family because it's so easy and so delicious. Allegra absolutely loves it. Rice and my favorite endive avocado salad that is also so easy to make and it's been on our table pretty much every week. So let's go, let's do it together okay so we're gonna start by making a sauce for salmon so we'll need some Dijon mustard soy sauce honey and olive oil all of this we're gonna mix in a small bowl I will demonstrate it for you I honestly don't measure it I just do it to taste but approximately probably I put five tablespoons of olive oil soy sauce probably about two tablespoons and two three tablespoons of honey and then mustard to taste because I personally don't like a strong taste of mustard so I prefer it on a lighter side if you love mustard then you can taste the sauce and decide if you want more I personally prefer to add more honey because I just love a little sweet taste that it gives the fish so we're gonna add some mustard so I put one teaspoon might be a little much but we can always dilute it with olive oil or with soy sauce so you just can taste and kind of decide actually it's not too mustardy I'll put just a little bit of soy sauce and maybe just a little bit of honey just to balance it okay that's it just whisk it again great so we are done now that we are done with the sauce we're just gonna unwrap the salmon rinse it put it on the tray and put the sauce that we just prepared on top of it and you have to put it in the oven for 12 minutes then take it out and just sprinkle again a little bit of sauce on top of it another three minutes and so we just leave a little bit of the sauce so we can add it in the end now we're just gonna put a little bit of Italian parsley on top so here is our parsley I'm gonna share with you guys this life hack that I thought was pretty amazing that my nanny taught me every time I would buy like cilantro or dill I would end up just using a little bit and the rest would always go to waste because usually it doesn't last too long in the fridge so you can actually take a glass bottle put inside water and you can tuck the whole greenery in then you'll just take a plastic bag put it on top tie a knot so it kind of creates like a steam effect not steam I don't know how exactly that cold <laughs> but basically that will last two three weeks for sure so we never now waste any of greenery ever so try it I thought it was just one of these little hacks that are so useful on a daily life Salmon is in the oven, rice is cooking. I'm using a rice cooker. I love to use rice cooker because you can literally just throw the rice and water in, push one button and it does the job. So you don't have to watch after it, worry that you're gonna miss it and rice always comes out the same. So I'm putting 12 minutes on a timer for the salmon. I'm gonna start to do, make a salad uh, meanwhile. And then after 12 minutes, I'll go back to my salmon, drizzle a little more sauce on top and then another three minutes and it's gonna be done. My rice cooker is so tiny. It's from Dutch. Actually, I bought this rice cooker for trips because when Allegra was smaller, we needed to warm up the milk. So I always wanted to have 
something I could warm up the milk in and literally this rice cooker is like the hand size so you could actually throw it in your luggage and we could just warm up milk or any puree at any time so which was super convenient Okay, so 12 minutes pass. We're just gonna drizzle a little more sauce on top of the salmon and put it for another three minutes. It looks already delicious. Put it back in the oven. While we're letting salmon to cook for another three minutes, we're going back to preparing our favorite salad and we're gonna chop our endives, mash avocado like you mash it for avocado toast, add some olive oil, pepper, salt, lemon. So this is gonna be our avocado dressing. Take your time to mix it well. And then basically you just dress the salad, add some corn and parmesan. Voila! You hungry? He's always hungry. Look at my sous chef over here serving the table. It was so fun to cook together today. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and see you guys in the next video. Ciao!